Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you had a good one looking at VIX and the volatility sector here on the daily and weekly time frame. So we had that breakout, long upper wick showing profit taking, but what is forming here is a base at 1863, 1871. You can see the bulls buying those dips, maintaining the higher low, and keeping all moving average support on the daily time frame. So the candlestick today shows indecision. After this consolidation, it's not really clearly at the top of an uptrend or at the bottom of a downtrend. <clears throat> so what we see on Monday is going to let us know what the short-term direction is going to be here. If we break down and break the low of today of 1871, we're looking at the 200 day of 1824. And obviously if a bullish break over 20, we're looking back at these highs 2216, 2289. Weekly time frame is a bearish candlestick. Technically we're confirming this bullish one with obviously the much higher low and higher high, but the upper wick shows profit taking it's a bearish reversal inverted hammer. The must hold level for the bulls is the 100 week. After so many rejections, if it can't hold the first back test as support at 1642, that's going to be a big red flag for the VIX bulls. We've got the bullish MACD cross, bullish cross of 50 RSI, and need to hold that 100 week moving average. So looking at the popular names of TVIX and UVXY, must hold level for TVIX is the $3 psychological point. If that's lost, the 10 day is down at 278. And the weekly chart for TVIX shows a similar long upper wick of profit taking on huge volume. 10 week resistance rejecting the price at 316. That's going to continue to drop significantly. So from here, the bulls are going to look to establish a higher low compared to 210, which should be fairly easy and then make another attempt at that 10 week moving average to turn it into support. And it's gonna require that moving average becoming support for this bullish MACD cross here on the weekly time frame. So UVXY, I like it better than TVIX. There's a couple subtle differences. Number one, it's holding support higher than back down at $13 where it was established back in mid-May. Needs to get above the 50 day resistance of 1439. Same indecision doji. But when we look at UVXY, the weekly chart is closer to a bullish MACD cross very close on the verge there the 10 week resistance was 1402 we missed that by 10 cents so I would prefer to play UVXY if I was choosing between the two and I think most people should as well just because of that subtle, subtle difference but that's what we're looking at for the volatility sector we are anticipating well I am anticipating Brexit vote not to go through and the markets to see some recovery We've got no rate hike on the near-term future. And if that concern of that Brexit vote is alleviated, we should see the bulls step back in, see some buying. And if the market sees some upside, obviously UVXY and TVIX will likely pull back. But we're not taking it off watch. Getting that middle Bollinger Band on the daily chart was what was required to get my attention. And they certainly did that in a big way this past week. So we'll be watching these names, looking for re-entry. And the first test we see of that middle Bollinger Band should be strong because of how resistant, how strong a resistance it was all back in the past few months. So that's the rundown. I appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching. The Chart Guys community has compiled trader tips from dozens of traders over the last year and put together a free ebook you can access by clicking the button and entering your email. Have a wonderful night.